seems these seams were meant for a princess. So what are princess seams? I'll show you coming up. Hey, Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing and be more creative too. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. So I don't know if you've ever heard the term princess seams. Um, I don't know if you really hear them in the sewing instructions, but fashion designers uh, know them, the, um, uh, about them. <laughs> So um, it's basically in sewing, it's a seam and it usually has like a curve in it and it helps mold uh, fabrics, especially woven fabrics um, to curves because women have curves. Um, you won't see them in men's clothes at all. Um, and you don't even really see darts in men's clothes once in a while, like in a pant or something, but men are tend to be straight where women are curvy. So whenever you take a woven fabric or even sometimes knits, you have to shape the fabric. And princess seams are just such a great way to um, really take, you know, sometimes women are like 10 inches difference, like from the bust to the waist. It used to be. <laughs> so I mean, 10 inches difference is a lot. So how do you get a piece of fabric to go in, right? So you have to shape the fabric and then the seams that there's a bunch of seams in there you can actually a little here a little there a little there and then everything balances better so um, princess seams are just like the best way to go for curvier shapes darts tend to you can take fabric in but they'll make puckers or they're they kind of um, they don't like fit like a glove so I, I brought some um, I have some patterns to show you and I brought some simple things that were in my closet um, this isn't my dress because it's very small I made this for this was actually my first movie called duty dating and I still have it it's such a classic it's a it's actually a princess cut basic um, dress and it's um, out of Dupioni silk that I just love but there is a princess seam right here you can see the seam right there and it goes around the bust and then in right here so the girl that wore this was pretty busty and very small uh, ways so I really wanted her, you know her outfit to really fit her like a glove and um, Do you do that with princess seams and then the seam? I think there's a seam actually there's a dart back here that goes oh, It's just a long dart right here. So um, didn't have a princess seam, but you can actually I mean prince some of the times the seams just mold in and you don't see them um, And that a lot has to do with the fabric. There is um, also this dress was just in my closet um, it looks like it's got some princess seams and darts. There's a seam that goes from the armhole all the way down and then goes into a pleat. And then there's another princess seam right here, goes into another, no actually this one goes straight down. So that's, I don't see this one very often. And then you have your straight center seam and then your back, there's a back, um, wow this is interesting. This one goes, this one goes from a princess seam, but it goes into a dart on the bottom here. Wow. I guess I never really looked at this. I just kind of thought, oh, here's a princess seam dress when I look in my closet. I don't think I've ever worn this dress. Um, then it comes down here, and then this one goes all the way down. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. Darts and princess seams. I should have looked at that before I showed you. I just was thinking it was a basic princess seam. Now, here's a gown that I made long long time ago it's probably about 25 years old this gown this was also in the first movie this is what velvet does by the way it crushes like from a purse like that purses will if you wear it right here will crush velvet so just so you know um i actually did a video on velvet uh last year although i didn't talk about a purse crushing anything gotta clip this off now these are princess seams that are really clear because i did a two-tone black so i have it starting at the shoulder going around and down. This was actually made for the same actress that I had, um, and um, she was busty, and then just went into to a small waist, and then she didn't have too much of a hips. But um, that is that dress from back here. You can see this um, off black really shows those seams right there. So those are the bust seams here. Now there are some. Um, 
things they're called the shoulder princess seams and I'll show that in a pattern I don't, I don't have anything although I, I probably have some in my closet um, these are so this was a, a pattern I found that's got a lot of princess seams in a blouse and they these are all come from the bust and then down so you can see them the bust and then down um, right there so and then I'll also look over at the back and I'll see um, where the princess seams are in there too and again from the arms eye from the back arms eye and down so I could tell that this blouse can be very fitted um, it's gonna fit really well for most people um, so you can get you can I mean you can really adjust the fit you can make it really fitted or you just kind of a little bit out and then just more relaxed fit now this is a vest that I found really interesting I had many of my students make this and this has um, coming from the arms eye and down and then they just completely recut the pattern and they have it coming from the shoulder and going down which I thought was interesting because it's one pattern you think they kind of keep with the same pattern build but they did a from the arms eye down actually I, I um, drew that out so you could see it right here and then one from the shoulder um, the shoulders um, those you can get really good fit in there too so you can actually adjust the seams but um, more if you're have someone who's more busty or the from going from the armhole is um, is a lot better because you can really adjust the curve in it um, this is actually the pattern for that uh, first blouse for this one here um, you can see the the big pattern piece here now this is from the arms eye down and they'll always have two notches right here to show where to put these and they're really important notches actually <laughs> so you actually want to um, if you looked at this closer I'm mean, guess I'm going to show you how we sew this together it looks like this part is actually a little bit bigger than here so you actually have to ease it in so it actually um, the darts um, I'll show you on this on the table but they um, not the darts the the notches really have to you have to start with those points and blend your fabric in um, in the center and then back out because if you miss those then the it really gets bubbly and the grain gets all funny but that's how like the side part fits so it has a curve to fit um, a bust like that so um, that is a bit about all the darts I'm actually going to show you I thought I had something else to show you but <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how you can easily put those together and um, they, they also have some of these princess seams will have like real curvy ones that you actually really have to gather in or ease in and some are just kind of flat and they they don't um they're not hard to put on at all so it, it all depends on the, the cup size too um actually this was another pattern i was looking for um this one has um princess seams here that could have gone into the armhole or could have gone from the shoulder because it starts right here at the band so um that's actually this would probably be an easy one to start with and um it just really helps the shape you can really get in with the shape all right let me show you how um they put these together all right i've cut out some fabric pieces although not the whole pieces right here um just to show you this dark part um, make sure they're on the grain and then you've got little notches in here that you can see easily sometimes if you do like a boucle fabric or something like that you can't see the notches very well you can also go out with the notches too you don't have to cut them in um, so that's what these pieces look like here so take those here so now these basically have to go right sides together let's say these are right sides together you start at the notches right here and you put your pins and your next notch here so it's like now trying to get like a curve into a how do you say to a square hole or what do they call that <laughs> so now you can see that little pucker in there actually if you wanted to go and finish these right here and also a lot of times right here you'll see that these will have a funny um, drape too so you look in your instruction pages and is it meant to go past it or not it doesn't always automatically you know match up exact here something you have those peak parts and then um, the rest of this will get sewn here so these right here you pin them here and then you work your pins in not stretching the layers um, either one of the layers too much and you just actually sew it or not sew it but <laughs> um, pin it 
in like it was going to be a curve right here so then it actually fits now there's some so actually this you could actually just go and you sew five eighths all the way down right here there's also a, a way of getting this curved part right here eased in a little bit more because actually i'm thinking when you start to go sew here you might have little puckers right here so i'm going to show you how to do that and i have to take these out and um, show you at the sewing machine how we get an ease in there um, and then um, it'll drape in a little bit easier so i'm going to take you to the sewing machine and show you that part okay what i'm going to do is make this kind of gather in just a little bit now i have another video out there um, called how to ease stitch and i show in more i'm trying to get this to go to two let me see um, I show you a little bit more depth on how to do these e stitches. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm not going now. My five eighths is over here, but I'm going to just kind of go in a quarter. So I'm going to follow this presser foot. And right here, my finger is behind the presser foot, and I'm I'm holding it back, and I'm going to crunch up this fabric. Actually, sometimes you want to start a little bit before that notch, and I'm just going to stitch. And I'm going to push the fabric so that it just can't go anywhere. And it's going to come up with a little, I'm going to go from notch to notch. Just push it and keep my fingers out of the way. And then I'm going to carefully just pull this out so I don't stretch it. And then you'll have like ever so slightly a, um, a little gather, like right there, just like a natural fold in here. And now that's going to be a lot easier to place onto the next piece. And I'll show you how we do that. Okay, now this is just going to go in a lot easier. So now I'm going to again pin it just how I did it before. I'm going to pin um, notch to notch. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these parts here. And then again, match up my notches right here. And then this is just going to drape in here so nicely like that. It takes a little bit of practice to um, do that E stitch. And it's good to practice just like on some muslin and uh, putting your you know, thumb behind the presser foot there and then just pushing back on it and letting the fabric crunch up is really what's going on on there. Now we're gonna just sew this all the way up to 5 eighths. Just gonna go from here to round to 5 eighths and then should come out to be a really nice seam. Okay, now I'm ready to just sew a 5 8 inch seam. A little bit higher here. And usually I would mark it or put my measurement guide there, but I'm kind of good at finding where 5 8 is at. <laughs> So now I'm just going to come in here. I'm actually going to go a little bit slower. I can go, go a little slower if you have a speed control. Got a lot of pins in here. And then I feel under here to make sure there's no puckering happening. So you're really working with a curved seam. And here I'm going to kind of lift it up and then I feel like a little pucker in there somewhere on the under underside. Just go around it. And all the way up. Now we need to reverse because I'm not really making anything. <laughs> Pull that out. And then check. No puckers happen. It wanted to, it wanted to pucker right there. But uh, it didn't. And the goal is to have this really smooth. You see, I kind of wanted to have a pucker there. And then um, the next step is to press it. Yeah, I really wanted to go here, but if this were a silk satin, it probably would have puckered. But there is really officially not a pucker there. And sometimes you have to clip the seams too after you sew them, and then it, that really helps it too. All right, I'm going to press this and see the end results. Okay, that seam looks pretty good. What you can do now is do a couple clips. In here that helps release the fabric and then we can press this open I'm also I have this on a ham which 
helps uh, curved seams. And you just take your iron and get that seam off flat. Sometimes you can also press the seam towards the side seams also. Sometimes you really want to press the seams open. Get that all the way down. And then this, this stitch too, that little E stitch actually sometimes really gets so tight, you really you can't take it out. So it's looking pretty good on here. I just want to make sure you avoid creases. And there is perfectly nice princess seam right there. Do a little extra pressing. And if you the stiffer fabrics like silk satins and all that, oof, they're hard to control. They're very crunchy. Um, if it was a boucle, it's good too. Those are they do, they mold better. It depends on the fabric too. So there. It's a great princess seam. There you have it. One really nice, smooth princess seam with fuzz. <laughs> so they're, um, they're pretty fun to get perfect. They're um, nice and smooth. You don't see them. You don't see that subtle amount of fit that your garment has. And um, lots of opportunity to adjust your sizing when you have the princess seams. So, when you're looking for sh for patterns, look on the back and stuff and see. Sometimes you can't tell by the illustration or the um, the garment if the person's actually. Which on patterns you should have them look for when there's wear somebody's wearing something. You can really see the true fit. And sometimes with the fabric you can't tell that a princess seam is in there. But if you have princess seams in there, they are sometimes you have more pattern pieces, but they really allow you more fit and control of how the garment fits. So. Um, opt for princess seams and I, th I know when I um, make evening gowns they, I always went for the princess seams because they're just much easier to control and actually when I min made my own wedding gown I um, I was a I didn't I had like a short bodice part and I had darts and by the third muslin on the bodice part I ended up going, I ended up going back to my princess seams I don't know why I didn't do that but because um, I was working with silk satin and uh, and it, it's just much more control fit. So um, if you learned anything, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below if you uh, have worked with princess seams and if you're gonna try them, so hopefully. And um, I'll see you in the next so bit. <laughs> <laughs>